In these examples, we want to determine the least common multiple, or LCM, which means we want to determine the smallest number that is a multiple of both 16 and 20, and the smallest number that is a multiple of both 36 and 54. There are two main ways of determining the LCM of numbers. One way is to list multiples of each number, and then determine the smallest number that the two lists have in common, and the other method is to use the prime factorization of the given numbers. In this video, we'll determine the least common multiple by making a list of the multiples of each number. And each method has its advantages over the other. So we'll start by listing multiples of 16, and then we'll list multiples of 12. So to list multiples of 16, we'll start by counting by 16s. So 16 plus 16 would be 32, plus 16 would be 48, plus 16 would be 64, and so on. So one of the challenges about listing multiples of each number is that we're not really sure when to stop. Now let's go ahead and list multiples of 12. So we'll start with 12, and then we'll add another 12, that would be 24. Add another 12, that would be 36. Add another 12, that would be 48, and so on. And notice that the smallest number that appears in both multiples of 16 and multiples of 12 is the number 48. So 48 is the least common multiple of 16 and 12. Again, 48 is the smallest number that is a multiple of 16 and a multiple of 12. Now let's try the same technique for 36 and 54. So we'll start by listing multiples of 36. So we'll start with 36, plus 36 would be 72, plus 36 would be 108, plus 36 would be 144, and we'll stop here. Now let's start listing multiples of 54. So we'll start with 54, add another 54, that would be 108, add another 54, that would be 162, and so on. And I know we can stop now because notice that 108 appears as a multiple of 36 and as a multiple of 54. So the least common multiple of 36 and 54 is equal to 108. 108 is the smallest number that is a multiple of 36 and a multiple of 54. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to determine the least common multiple using the prime factorization of the given numbers.